Hey, me and Matt here. Here we are, watching Countdown to Rebellion. Yeah, right now we got Oscars against Ace Bay Club and Leon. Stock? Leon. Slater. Leon Slater, yeah. Yeah. So. I find it interesting, though, how the uh, ropes are purple. No, that's interesting. It's very colorful. Uh huh. But yeah, so you have your winners, A, B, C, and H Bay Club and Leon Slater. Hit him with the one, <coughs> two, sweet. So, what a good way to start Rebellion, the countdown. Yeah. So, I actually thought the actual event was going to start at 7. Right. I guess I should know better, but... Yeah. Anyhow... Leon hit kind of like a swan on 450, sort of? Yeah. Interesting Yeah. We got Tom Moulton and Matthew Raywald. Hannigan, rather. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Anyways, wow, they're up high. Yeah, they're in, it looks like a, kind of like a skybox, essentially. Well, better them than me. So anyway. It looks like they're kind of at a theater. And, you know, at a theater, <laughs> there are seats that you sit at where... <clears throat> Like yeah. Well, they're talking about the Joe Hendry Rich Swan match, so yeah, we're gonna get to see the heel turn. I really gotta watch Impact Wrestling. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, well, it looks we go. like we've got the Crazy Steve versus Lorino Kid. Yeah, for the Digital Media Championship. This match initially was supposed to happen at the last pay-per-view, but the Radio Kid had travel issues. Then they had this match this past week on Impact. Yeah. Was it ended in a DQ, so they have the rematch right now. Yeah, yeah. And as always, this should be a very good match. Yeah. We had Mickey D's. Yeah. And we had the Surf and Turf. Well, there's a video. Watch it when it's up. We got Mickey D's. We got brownies. The shit's gonna be off the hook. So, yeah. let's get to it. <laughs> The ride is over. Yeah, Laredo Kid, your new digital media champion. What a good match. Yeah. I mean, Crazy Steve, you thought 
Yeah, yeah he's gonna retain. Right. Laredo Kid, they're in the top rope, and Laredo Kid took a chunk out of his face. Yeah. And they had Crazy Steve foaming at the mouth or whatever. And yeah, this was actually, yeah. We'll see what happens from here because, I mean, I don't think that Laredo Kid's gonna have the same kind of reign as Crazy Steve. I mean, Crazy Steve only held the title for 98 days, which is like three months roughly. Alright, so not that much. But we'll see what happens. I mean, Laredo Kid's a hell of a wrestler, a hell of a luchador. And now it looks like we're well, getting into the take team titles for the women's. No, it's going to be for the, it's the, the right now they're reviewing the knockout championship match. Foul! Oh. Jordan Grace versus Steph. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and there's Matt Cardona yeah. from their time in GCW. Yeah. GCW. Independently. Yes, that's gonna be a good match. Ah, fuck, man. It's gonna be a good show. They were going oh. over the fight fights at, uh, for this match, and they were talking about how Decay took the titles from MK Ultra at Eagle Surrender. That's what it was. And then. Jody Fred, Danny Luna took the tag titles from DK at Sacrifice. That's right. So well, we got the tag team knockouts titles. Yeah. And we got Spitfire coming out as promised with Lars Fredrickson. Yeah. And of course you got DK in the ring already, so. It's gonna be a fucking sick match. Yeah. Let's get it. Jody tried to sunset flip havoc, <laughs> but they were able to do a double power bomb on her. Yeah. But yeah, Spitfire stole your knockouts champions. Yeah. So very cool. We'll see what's next. I'm not sure. Yeah, something. Shit. Ooh. Ooh. Killer Kelly. No, well, that's Masha. Oh, Masha. Got a chain with her. That's yeah. cool. Oh, boy. Oh, I'll be with you in a second sitting there. So it looks like Alyssa Edwards and Masha Slavovich want next for the. Yeah, I kind of thought they were going to suggest a hardcore knockouts take team match, but... We could get there at some point. Yeah. Well, they're talking about the main event. I'm not sure what time it is. It's almost eight. So, I'm not sure. Well, we'll be with you in a second anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they had these two, I don't know who the fuck they are, protesting that, oh, Jake something doesn't meet the criteria. 
We're not going to let Mustafa Ali defend the title against Jake. We're going to sit here and, you know, protest this, whatever. And Cody Dieter comes there. And he's like, no, 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 no. You can't do this. This isn't your choice. This is the people's choice. Do you want me to let them hold up the show? Do you want me to do something better? So he kicked one guy in the back, DDT the other guy. The first guy's nuts. And, yeah. Hopefully the guy was... WE'RE A FUCKING CUP! Well, it's that time. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed our little... I, I like doing this, it's cool. Yeah. So, that was the pre-show. Now it's time for Rebellion. Yeah. See you in a bit. Hey, I mean Matt here, and this is Killer Kyle. Welcome to another play-by-play. -play. Yeah. Right now, we've got the National Anthem. DJ... Asha? Asha? I believe is what the name is. Yeah. Playing the electric guitar, of course. For, for the National Anthem. Yeah, this is... A belly out of Las Vegas. This yeah. shit's gonna be banging. Obviously, we didn't get that last weekend, but that's okay. Because we have it now here. Actually, it's kind of cool to see the National Anthem on the electric guitar. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, I'll get back to you when the first match happens. Or we'll talk about that. Yeah. Well, that was a good match. Yeah. For the first time. The first match. And, yeah. Jake something was like this close, man. Yeah, I know. I mean, they're both awesome wrestlers. And, yeah. The Secret Service got involved. Yeah. But, yeah, that shit. Mustafa Ali, still your X Division champion. Yep. By putting his foot on the ropes. Well, he grabbed her up. Yes. Uh, boy. Yeah, boy. We got Joe Hendry, who's gonna be taking on Rich Swan. Yeah! Yeah. I still am iffy about Rich being healed, but he's got AJ Francis, so. Yeah. Well, we both pick Rich to win. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Well, that was impressive. Yeah. I mean, you knew with AJ Francis being out there with Joe Henry, that a branch would more than likely win. But then you got involvement from one of AJ's teammates from back in the day, Maryland, Maryland, whatever, yeah. football, I believe, and uh, oh, yeah. taking Sean Merriman, taking basically taking Joe Henry's head off with a clothesline, basically. Yeah. Well, <laughs> AJ got involved in the match quite a few times. Then he went over to one of his, the other people that were, you know, that did an interview with her earlier and grabbed her. She with a big friggin' thing on it. He's gonna hit Henry. Sean, Sean grabs him and he takes him over. What are you doing? Oh no. <laughs> Pulls over the barricade. He gets to the ring and calls in AJ. They're peeking off at each other. He's like, all right, I'll get it, I'll get it. And then he turns and he clobbers Henry with the clothes on. Like, yeah, well, what else did you expect? Yeah. Still, that was a good match. And, yeah, a very good team, AJ Francis and Rich Swan. So, yeah, I, again, should keep up on TNA, but I keep forgetting. I will. Even though you don't really keep up with TNA, I mean, 
you're still more than less able to keep up with what goes on through the favor of you. That is whatever. true, yeah. What do we got? Do you believe next we got Full Metal Mayhem? Yeah. Eric Young, the world class maniac, versus the heavy metal rebel. Yeah, Frankie Kazarian. And holy shit, this is gonna be a war. Yeah. Yeah. But these two guys, TNA Originals, so it's gonna be a fun match to watch. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. And I'm wearing my Rosemary shirt. Could have worn that for the pre show, but that's alright. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, that was a good match. I mean, yeah, you had a lot. You got the chains, you got the tables, you got the sheets, the baking sheets. Yeah. And there was no brownies in the sight. For this match, I swear. And I mean, an unprettier from. Was it Frankie? Yes, yeah, a prettier from Frankie to Eric. That the ladder across the bottom rope and could have been uh, Eric was standing on it like he's gonna do something standing on the ladder and Frankie countered it and gave Eric an unprettier onto the ladder yeah then you had Eric pull out a table and put it in the ring and set it up kind of near the corner and then yeah uh, Kaz had Eric draped over the table and he grabbed the trash can he's going to do something out of the corner onto Eric onto the table Eric fought it off and then uh, you know they were up on the corner and Kaz hit Eric with the Spanish fly it's supposed to be through the table but they kind of caught the edge of the table I think either they sort of moved the table over or turned it so it was horizontal instead of vertical, but nonetheless. Yeah, Eric got all kinds of fucked up there. Yeah. What a fucking match. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, it looks like Nick Nemeth. Yeah. Next, talking about his world title match coming up a little later. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see a match from him. And, yeah, because, honestly, I actually, no, I did see a, a couple matches in TNA. Right. So, anyways. Well, I think that. Oh, yeah. Definitely calls for a shot. I can't believe I forgot about that. TNA now, merch. Now, the last few times, we've had some uh, Evan Williams. But I thought I'd throw it back to a Canadian classic. With the, oh. the crown royal. Crown fucking royal. And how fitting, because we got EY, oh, he lost. Oh. Steve Macklin. Well, we'll deal with that when we deal with that. Yes. So. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here's to a hell of a full metal mayhem match. Here's to a hell of a show so far, and it's, I'm sure we're going to get better from here. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, like we always say, better late than never. I know. I know. I'm glad we got to do this now. But, yeah, better late than never. Yeah. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. <laughs> Oh, that was a surprise match. Yeah, yeah, Steve Mackley come back and he's talking about how he signed the contract with TNA, a new one. And there's one demand that he wants met and he wanted a match at Rebellion. And then Santino comes in and he's like, well, I just have to sign somebody else's morning. He's here to get started, so we're going to have this match right now. 
Steve Macklin against the returning Mike Santana. Yes, sir. And what a match this was. Yeah. You know, I was, and I'm pretty sure you saw it. The interview with Chris Van Fleet. And Mike Santana was asked if he would ever return to TNA. And he probably, I don't know if he said no. But obviously that's a lie. Right. It's funny because you go, hey, maybe they're going to return. And then they deny it. And then they eventually return. Yeah. Like, when somebody says that they're not going to return to somewhere that they originally were, it may only be for in that moment. It's not a never. True. It's just a right then and there. Like, you know, CM Punk said he'd never return to WWE for many, many yeah. years. Lo and behold, Survivor Series last year, he returned. You know? Mike Santana, eventually, you know, going back to TNA. You know, just because it might be a no, it's a not right now, not a never. Yeah, and I mean, looking at the interview with Will Sasso yesterday, those interviews happened like before WrestleMania, so. Right, yeah. I'm assuming that was before WrestleMania. Oh, I would imagine. But yeah, I mean, it's nice to see him back. I don't know whatever happened to Ortiz. They're obviously no longer tight, but that's okay. Yeah. I almost rhymed, but... Like, you know, we all know about, you know, Mike Santana and Ortiz having a falling out. You know, them both having different ideas about their career path. And yeah. Then, you know, the injury to Mike and him healing up and, you know, Going to rehab, sobering up, yeah. coming back to AEW, having a few matches in AEW. He had a match against Ortiz, I believe it was either a rampage or a collision. And then I hadn't seen him for a while. I know he, I'm pretty sure he was doing independent stuff for a little bit. And then, yeah, going, returning home essentially to TNA. Yeah, what else? I can't wait to see what happens, how I could see him do a singles run, no problem. Oh, yeah. Whether it's X Division or eventually the World Heavyweight title. Or, well, you know, the TNA Heavyweight title. Now, I do remember talking about, and I don't know if he still is or not, he did at one point win the House of Glory World title. Right. Santana. Yes. I don't know if he's still the world champion or not. I think he might be. Yeah, I'm not sure. Again, I'll have to watch last Tuesday's Impact show. So, anyways. Uh, here we have I now. Think we got the world title match. Yeah. We got the world tag title match. The system versus Speedball Mountain. Yeah. And yeah, we talk about two other TNA originals. Well, kind of. Brian Myers was there before he was Kurt Hawkins. Yes. And then, of course, Eddie Edwards from Ring of Honor. Right. And then, yeah, Mike Bailey and... Trent Seven. Trent Seven. <laughs> Trent Seven, former NXT UK champion. Yes. I don't know if they, they were every NXT champion. I think they were NXT take team. Oh, okay. They were NXT take or NXT UK take team champions, and I'm pretty sure they were NXT take team champions as well. Yeah. Anyways, this should be a good match. Yeah. This show is just getting better. Yep. <laughs> that was a match. Yeah, exactly. Oh boy. Mike and Trent brought the fight to the day, Yes, they did. I mean, that was a war. It got a fire and there was spear out of Med Air and a mic. Yeah, I'm bear after apron. Yeah. Yeah. It was a close one. For I sure. Mean, Trent snapped Eddie's fingers. Like, fucking... Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn and Marty Squall, but you yeah. can actually hear it. 
Yeah. That was fucked up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They still did the roster cut, though. Roster cut, mm -hmm. Boston E party. Yeah. Earlier in the match, they went for their finish, so they won quite a few matches with the backpack starter into the elbow. That yeah. didn't get the job done. No. But the Boston E party and the roster cut did get the win. Yeah. So still your TNA tag champs. The system. Yeah. That's gonna be a fucking... Looks like next we got the last man standing match. Yes, sir. Hammerstone and uh, the walking weapon. Yeah, it's the rubber match, if you will. Yes. I mean, first it was Alexander, then it was Hammerstone, or vice versa, whatever. The first match went to Alexander, the second match went to Hammerstone. Yeah. Holy shit, what the hell is that? Anyways. Josh Alexander's headgear. No, no, on his mouth. Oh, who knows? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, this is going to be a hell of a match. I'll be very surprised if Hammerstone wins. Right. I could see the walking weapon pick up the victory. Yeah, more than likely. So. <laughs> it's just getting started in one of I have said that already. Let's get ready for war. Yeah. <laughs> that was one hell of a patch, dude. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, ah, oh, you didn't know what was going to happen. You actually thought Hammerstone was going to win. I mean, he, I don't know, drop kicked Josh Alexander's head at the turnbuckle. That didn't do it. The post. The post. Yeah. Yeah, Hammerstone hit Josh in the head with his own head here. And, you know, Thumbtack got involved. And it was a hell of a war. It ended with Alexander giving. Hammerstone, the C Four Spike on the stage. Yeah. You know thumbtacks. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. That was a good match. Now I wonder if because Full Metal Mayhem was before this match. Yeah. Was why they didn't use as many weapons in this match. That's possible. Yeah, you know what? I'm surprised they didn't have some tax of Full Metal Mayhem. What the fuck is this? And, uh, oh! The octopus. Yeah. Going through a metamorphosis? Well, that's fucked up. Yeah. Well, they were hissing. Dawn's aggression maybe tapping into a darker version of himself? Perhaps? <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, I got the Knockouts Championship. You got Juggernaut Jordan Grace versus Steph Delander. Yes. This will be interesting, like we said. I think Jordan's going to win. I think, well, we think she's going to win. Yeah, for sure. So. And I think. Oh. More shots in order for now. Well, yes, sir. I'll never uh, turn that down. Back for a second. Whoa. Oh, they're just going through the highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, like Kyle said earlier, better than eat than never. Right. This is Rebellion. What a hell of a show, Las right. Vegas. Yes, sir. And yeah, subscribe. Killer Kyle 34, I mean, Matt's World. And yeah, pretty soon, not now. I'm going to say after Backlash, we shake things up again. Right. That's the rule of the end. That's the rule of the end. Now, earlier, Matt and I got into some ice cream sandwiches. The Yukon ice cream sandwiches. 
well. Matt and I were watching Dynasty. He broke in with a Kit Kat caramel crisp, which he didn't really seem all that impressed with. Yeah. So I figured I would remedy that. So I brought with me Arrow Ooh. Truffle, the tiramisu one. The tiramisu. Hell yeah, brother. I'm never upset with Kit Kat, but I mean, I don't know if it's because I had the s'mores of Forty Creek, or no, Bailey's Bailey's, that made it taste different, but I used to like caramel, I don't know what happened, so. Maybe because it was like caramel crisp and there's a little piece of it instead of like an actual like caramel. Oh, that's possible, yeah. Yeah. Looks good on the inside. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes, it does. You look at what happens with Arrow and the fact that they do things with enema bars, yeah. black forest cake, yeah. brownie, and Terry Masu. Dude, it smells like coffee. Yes, it does. I've had this twice now. It's so fucking good. What are we- oh, we're doing Ash of Holocans right now, but anyways, let's get- <laughs> Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. Yes. What a match. Yeah, I mean... This match was awesome, and then, of course, the good hands got involved. And then, of course, the lights go out. You got the first commit, yeah, monster! First commit, yeah, for Uncle Steve! Yeah. Well, the referee got knocked, dude. Mm -hmm. Good hands can't rent, to wake up the ref. And one of them puts off the ref shirt, starts counting, lights go out, PCO comes in, takes out the good hands, Colin gets involved, Takes out PCO. Looks like the three of them are good. Well, the good hands get back and bones because, you know, Jordan low blows Con and they look like Jordan was going to do something. Good hands get involved. Looks like Con's going to snap Jordan's neck. Let's go out again. And that's when you have the return of the death machine. Sammy Kelly. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, and he looks good. I honestly thought he was losing his hair. But I know he shaved his hair, but like... Yeah, I think he had a... Hair versus... Title match, or hair versus match. Yeah, I think there was a match that he had where the stipulation was. If he lost, he had to shave his head. And so he had no hair for a little bit. Then he was gone for... Six, seven months, whatever it was. Yeah. Came back tonight. He's got hair again. And Under Siege is coming up. Yeah. So, May 3rd. Yep. Shit, this is... What a busy. Oh, yeah. Goddamn. Anyway, that's going to be awesome, I think. I'm not quite sure. Oh, uh, well, anyway. Against All Odds, June 14th. Yep. We won't go there yet. Yeah. The Cicero Stadium. Yeah, in Chicago, Illinois. Yes, sir. The Bears! The Bears! Yep. She's main event time. Yep. We have main event time. We've got Moose versus Neck Nemeth. Yeah. Oh, I get it. And instead of we're going to show them, we're all going to prove the world, all right? I guess. Yeah. I wasn't a fan of Nick Nemeth and WWE as Dolph Ziggler, so... I think he'll do much better in TNA. I feel like he will, yeah. So... But yeah, this match is going to be lit. I mean, both these guys, I mean, Moose... 
coming from Ring of Honor, then coming to TNA, being the longest in TNA, and then of course Dolph Ziggler, many years in WWE. Yep. And you know, a Grand Slam champion. Yes. In WWE, so it's a matter of time to see what he does in TNA. Yes. So, as usual, once again, main event. Never shot. Fucking a, dude. But yeah, as the video says, it is gonna be under siege. Yes. And against all odds, of course. We've got backlash, and then double or nothing. We're stacked as always. Never stops. So. Once again, here's to a hell of a show. You know, we missed it the Friday of, but we're getting her in now. <laughs> we got yeah, Rebellion finally about to be in the books. We got more to come. Oh god, yeah. Against all lies. Backlash. And much, many, many more. Yes, sir. It's always a stat. Wheels of Fury, as always. Right. That's the way it should be. Again, subscribe to Killer Kyle. To subscribe to myself. Yes. We love you. That's the love, yeah. That's the love, yeah. Well, was that luck luster or what? I mean, it was a hell of a match. Yeah. Good back and forth match between Moose and Nick. Yeah. Moose was able to hit the spear on Nick. It was not, not Moose's best spear. No, not really. It was so called able to get the job done. Yeah. But anyways. I mean, some very good fucking moves. Oh, yeah. Moose hit a fucking badass power bomb. Yeah. And fuck yeah. I mean, it was a good match. Yeah. Not great. Yeah. Wait. Got to. Alexa, I had to Brown coming out to celebrate. There's. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes, after Moose got the win, he had Alexa, Eddie, and Brian come out and they're on the stage and. The lights are flickering, and on the screen there is a uh, some pictures and stuff. It's like, okay, what the fuck is that? The lights go out, lights come back on. Who's on the ring? The broken one, Matt Hardy, has returned to TNA. And I have heard a lot of people shit about this, saying it's kind of like meh. I'd like to see where this goes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Honestly, if Matt Hardy didn't do the Broken gimmick, then what's next? Yeah. And why not do the Broken gimmick back to TNA? I mean, you could definitely have Brother Nero come back. Yeah. In Reppy Sky. Yes. I think her father passed away. So... Like, who knows? I mean, I don't see another WWE run. No. There was a rumor, and it obviously still might happen, with Uncle Howdy and... The Wyatt Six. Yeah. Although, I don't know if you call it the Wyatt Six now. Yeah. Like, they did do a little bit of the broken gimmick in AEW, but yeah. they don't, it would last for only a short period of time. Yeah. Anyways. I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I know that he picked up the title after the match. But it was a good gimmick for the time. Yes. I'm not sure in 2024 how good it's going to be. 
I'm sure he will make it work. I uh, yeah. I mean, Matt's been in the business for what twenty five years at least. Yes. Since like ninety four. And the dude's pretty good for fifty. Oh fuck yeah! So, yeah, you know what? I'm excited to see where this goes. Yeah. So, to finish this out, how we always finish this out one more time. I don't know. We might kill the bottle tonight. There was just enough in the bottle for one more shot. Brother. Oops. Let's use the rest of what I put in there. Once again, here's to a hell of a rebellion, a hell of a weekend, rebellion, and dynasty, and, uh, you know, more to come. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, like Matt said before, subscribe to me and Matt's world, subscribe to Killer Kyle 34 and, uh, yeah. We keep on rocking, we keep on rolling, and we don't stop until there is no more. Yeah, we don't ever run out of steam. Nope. You can't stop us. So, if you've been joining us for as long as we've been doing this, yeah. thank you so fucking much. We love you. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Ovia. Mr. Ovia, one last time. And we will catch you. I don't know, backlash? Oh, it's uh, June the 4th? Yeah. Anyway. Well, we'll think about it. Yeah. Something's coming up soon. Yeah. So, anyways, for me and Matt, this is Killer Kyle. Thumbs up. Thumbs down.